Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we'll be talking about Staphylococcus aureus. Before we go further, please ensure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified each time I post a new video. Also ensure to follow me on all social media platforms linked on my bio. Staphylococcus aureus is a bacteria that is said to cause vaginal infection, skin infection, and urinary tract infection. The infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus is becoming more prevalent and this calls for serious attention. Most people feel that Staphylococcus aureus is a normal flora of the vagina, which makes them to relax and feel comfortable each time their result tells that they have Staphylococcus bacteria growth. Staphylococcus aureus is a normal flora of the skin the membrane and the genital areas. The genital area involves the outer layer of the vagina and also the penis and not the inner part. So if Staphylococcus aureus is found in the vagina, it calls for serious attention because it can lead to lots of health complications. The vagina has a normal flora called Lactobacillus species which acts like a good bacteria to the vagina because it maintains the pH of the vagina and saves it from infection. The invasion of Staphylococcus aureus into the vagina kills the good bacteria and leads to infection symptoms like itching, bony sensation, and unhealthy discharge. A lot of us will ask, is Staphylococcus aureus an STD or STI? The answer is no. Staphylococcus aureus is not a sexually transmitted infection, but it can invade the vagina vagina and also affect the male reproductive system. The question will be how then does Staphylococcus aureus invade the vagina and how does it invade the male reproductive system? Remember I said earlier that Staphylococcus aureus is a normal flora of the skin. In other words, it can be found in every part of our skin. A lot of ladies do what we call dolching. Dolching is the act of putting your fingers into the vagina and this has the ability to introduce bacteria into the vagina and cause infection. Most ladies think that until they put their fingers deep into their vagina, their vagina is not clean. Like I earlier said, the vagina has a natural flora that washes itself and keeps it clean at all times and also saves it from bacterial infections. So the more you put your fingers into your vagina, the more you alter the natural pH. And when this is done, it gives rise to infection. Also, when your sexual partner does not have a proper wash, there is a possibility that the Staphylococcus aureus on the outer skin of his penis can be introduced into your vagina and can cause infection. Even fingering during foreplay is not excluded because there are bacteria in our fingers that we don't know of. The invasion of Staphylococcus aureus into the male reproductive system is sometimes done when the bacteria find its way into the tract, thereby affecting the sperm and causing urinary tract infection (UTI). Staphylococcus aureus have the ability to affect both male and female fertility. A lot of infertility cases in both men and women are as a result of untreated Staphylococcus aureus infection. Untreated Staphylococcus aureus infection in women can attack the ovaries, the womb, and linked to tuber blockage. It also has the ability to affect a woman's hormone leading to irregular menstruation. And when all this is done, it gives rise to infertility. In men, Staphylococcus aureus have the ability to affect the viscosity and motility of sperm cells leading to oligospermia, which is low sperm count. With this happening, it leads to infertility. The safest precaution against Staphylococcus aureus is maintaining good personal hygiene. For ladies, avoid dodging because it has the ability to introduce bacteria into your vagina and give rise to infections. For men, wash your genital areas and ensure you have a proper wash before sex. Generally, regular washing of hands is advised and practice of safe sex. Staphylococcus aureus infections can be serious and result to health complications. So it is very important that safety precautions should be carried out to avoid it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.